I feel like the primary election uh, just finished. Uh, Professor Kenneth Miller from UNLV is here to talk about, as we look ahead to the general election, all the funding that is uh, filing in campaign funding, the ad revenue, the commercials are relentless. Uh, what are you seeing in terms of where the money is coming from and, and where it's going already here in Nevada? Well, I think all, you're right. The advertising is already relentless, but what I'm seeing suggests that it's going to get even more relentless, that the spending that we've seen so far is just the tip of the iceberg. So if we look back to previous election cycles where we had races in Nevada that were similar to this one in terms of how close they were and what was at stake nationally for them, we're, we're not even close to how much money we're going to see eventually. Think back to uh, 2018, Jackie Rosen runs against Dean Heller. And in that race, there was 65 million was spent on Jackie Rosen's side and 38 million on Dean Heller's side. Two thirds of that money came from outside groups, that is independent expenditure groups. And that's probably what we're going to see here again this time, anywhere from two thirds, maybe as much as three fourths of the money is going to come from these national independent expenditure organizations. In terms of how much is going to be spent, 2020, we saw even more than 2018 in terms of spending where races like this one had about $100 million spent on average. So we're not even close to that yet. So if you think you've seen a lot of political messaging so far, just wait until you get to Labor Day. I'm sure most viewers will find that uh, profoundly fantastic. Um, <laughs> you know, that I guess that that speaks not only to, um, you know, for those of us in Nevada, it's an important race, obviously, but for if these national organizations are stepping in, they see Nevada as very important. That's always, that's been the case for the last several cycles. Is it just the Senate race or the governor's race that's getting all the attention or does the money assign that it's, it's those congressional races too that are going to get a lot of the focus and a lot of the money? Yeah, we're going to start to see more on the House races soon, uh, most likely. Uh, we have several House races this year that are going to be very close. Um, we have Dina Titus's seat used to be a very safe seat for her. It's not as safe anymore. So she's going to need to campaign. She has uh, Mark Robertson running uh, against her, who he's probably going to draw some money and he's going to be active. Um, we have, of course, Susie Lee and April Becker. That's already a pretty active race, and that's going to get even more so. Uh, we haven't seen much uh, from Nevada for yet, but that's par partially because we're here in uh, the southern part of the state, so we don't see as much of that activity. But three out of four of our house races are going to be in the ballpark of close, and two of them should be very close. We're going to see a lot there. Uh, the Senate race is going to be the biggest one, though, in terms of spending. National outside groups are most interested in that. They're frankly, they're more interested in the Senate seat than they are who's sitting in the governor's mansion up in Carson City. This, I don't know if this is too much of a stretch, but what does it say about the, the state of affairs and in, in politics in general when a state like Nevada can draw in so much money for political races? That, that there's this much, there's this, this much money in advertising period that millions of dollars maybe it's it's not it's not new but it just seems like it, it just exponentially gets bigger and bigger every season yeah and it gets bigger every election season for us in nevada especially and that's because not only is there getting to be more money in play in races but that's happening at the same time that nevada has gotten more competitive so if you were in a place like uh, Ohio, Ohio used to be a major battleground and that had all kinds of campaign activity going on, wall-to-wall uh, -wall advertising, everyone's knocking on doors everywhere. That doesn't happen as much there anymore. That's, that state has slid rather solidly towards a Republican column and so they don't get as much. We've had the opposite happen. We've become a battleground state. So we're becoming the focus of attention right when attention means even more money than it used to. You go back prior to 2010, money couldn't move around very easily. Now money can move wherever the races are close. And there's only two other Senate races besides Nevada that are considered this tight. That's Arizona and Georgia. So we're going to be the focus of attention. For better or for worse. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Professor Miller, I appreciate the time. Thank you very much. You got it.